Well, spring is most definitely here, and it's that time of year where we're sowing and mowing and thinning out seedlings and potting on. And for those of you who have a greenhouse, you will know just how handy one can be. Today, I'm at Rhino Greenhouses, who are gonna show us a bit about the manufacturing process and give us some greenhouse gardening tips. So this is where it all begins, the manufacturing of your greenhouses. It does. We have, a, we have about 100 different extrusions, which we then cut to length and punch. Okay. And during the course of a year, we will punch and cut nearly half a million parts wow. for all our greenhouses. Well, here we've just been cutting the door sides, uh, but this part we're, we're doing on the other saw, and these are the bases. So nice and strong support for the whole greenhouse. This is um, aluminium? Aluminium, so it's not going to rust or rot. Right. And most of them we will be sending away to be sprayed okay. into some nice... Nice pretty nice, colours. Nice colours that look really attractive Lovely. in your garden. <laughs> there aren't very many greenhouses that are made in this country. Most of them are brought in from China. So we're very proud to be a British manufacturer and moreover a Norfolk manufacturer. Your extrusions are then painted? Yes, in actual fact it isn't painting. Uh, paint would just simply peel off. Okay. It's very complicated, uh, the process with uh, powder coating, right. aluminium. Right. Basically the powder is then melted onto the aluminium. And then you're left with these beautiful colours. Yes, and that is so, it's so hard it just will not peel off. During the summer months, we exhibit at a lot of the horticultural shows all around the country, including Scotland. Last week we were at Harrogate, where we won a gold medal. Uh, we're at Malvern at the moment, and we've just won a silver gilt medal there. So once you've decided that you want to have a greenhouse, there's lots of considerations isn't there, when you've uh, sighted it. So have you got any good tips for us whilst I'm planting up our pretty basket? One of, one of the key things, Ellen, I would say is to go for as big a greenhouse as you've got room for because okay. you will get bitten by the gardening bug <laughs> and okay. you will run out of space. It, so many times when we're at these shows, you hear from people that, I just wish I got a bigger one. Right. And okay. it's a bit late then because they haven't got room for two, but they probably could have had one that's two okay. foot longer. And then once you've got your lovely big greenhouse, yes. what will we need to do? What, would, what do we need to think about when we're growing? Plant, you've got to think really what plants like. They, they need lots of ventilation. With, with this greenhouse, for example, it's got lots of roof ventilation. It's all automatic, so if you're out at work, it's, the, w the windows are just going to go up and down all day. That's very useful. And we need to think about shading as well, don't we? Shading's really important. Really, you want to stop the heat before it gets into the greenhouse because it will just get too hot, even as early as February. Really? You, yeah, you're going to find that the greenhouse be quite cold outside, but get a sunny day and it will, be, it will overheat. And okay. especially then, you've got tender plants just coming through and it's so easy to just sort of burn them. Uh, we're now ready to hang the hanging basket up. And that looks absolutely beautiful, Ellen. <laughs> well, these greenhouses are very strong and you can hang it in the roof on this greenhouse. Oh, so look at that, it's perfect. Well done, brilliant. There are so many plants that you can grow in a greenhouse. Why not try cucumbers for your salads or even your own grapevine? And now you've had some expert tips from Rhino Greenhouses, there's no reason why you shouldn't be cropping your fruits well into the winter months.